it's not who does the most it's who does the best and Allah loves it subhanahu wa ta'ala the action that the person does that is consistent the most beloved actions to Allah are what the actions which are done with continuation and consistency even if it's little our mother Aisha when she was asked about our Prophet sallallahu action he said Kana amaluhu the Prophet's actions were what consistency and whatever he started he would carry on alayhi salatu wasalam he would not stop so some of us think that Allah wants from us is quantity rather than quality if the quantity comes with quality mashallah فَنِعِمَّهِ but if it doesn't and it's a lot but it's not with quality it's not beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't forget to pray your salat al duha the best time to pray your voluntary prayers i'd say it's probably going to be between uh, your lectures if you have lectures if you go to lectures i don't know why i'm talking like i go to lectures i haven't been in lectures in like four or five months and i'm like 50 lectures behind right now but um maybe like 11 o'clock so you can do a revision session 9 to 11 11 come and pray and then revision session after one hour hour or so um that's probably the best way so you can come and pray and you can see that as a break the more voluntary prayers you pray karim, the closer you come to allah Azza wa Jai. am i even doing this thing right i want it to smell good but then the window's open actually so let me close this fell on my hand, it's too cold. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Allahu alhamdul hasan wa thanaa wa jameel, wa shadu an la ilahi illallah wahdahu la sharika la, yaqulu al-haqqa wa huwa yahdi sabiq, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi, wa tabi'ina lahu bi ihsani ila yawmi al-deen amma ba'd. Alhamdulillah, we are all joined here with an amazing group of brothers. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibba li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsi. None of you have truly believed until you love for your brother or you love for yourself. And of course we know that this religion is about having that brotherhood. And my brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Ala khillahu yawma'idhin ba'aduhum li ba'adhin a'aduhun illa muttaqeen. That every single one of you guys, Close friends on that day of al Qiyamah, there will be enemies to one another except the Muttaqun, those who used to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. So when you see your brother do something that's wrong, always make sure you give them the advice. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Addinu nasiha, that this deen is what? It's nasiha. And the Sahabas they asked, Who is it for? He said, Wali kitabihi, wali rasulihi, wali aimmatil muslimina wa ammatihim. Basically, he's saying that this deen is nasiha, giving good advice to who? Your brothers and your sisters. When you see them do something that Allah Azza so has said not to do when you see them something that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prohibited then you go and tell your brother to not do that thing why is that? because every single person in here what is our goal? our goal is to save this flesh of ours from what? from the hellfire and this morning we had actually a janazah of a brother that passed away recently and Allah Azza tells us in many different verses in three different verses he says Kullu nafsin maut, that every single one of us we're going to be going through death Every single one of us, your appointed time has been written. When Allah Azawajal has created everything, He wrote down everything. The day you're going to die, the person that you're going to meet, everything has been written down by Allah Azawajal. So whatever has been appointed will come to you. Whoever is saving themselves from what? From the hellfire or entering Jannah, then they have succeeded. So that's our purpose in life. Simply to do what? To follow Allah and His Messenger. And how do you follow Allah and His Messenger? By looking at that which Allah and His Messenger told us. What are our primary sources? The Quran and the Sunnah. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, of course we know, وَمَا يَنْطِقْ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيُ يُوحَىٰ What the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam does, the things that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, all of this is something that Allah azza wa has either directly or indirectly told him. So of course what the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, in itself is revelation. So my brothers and sisters, if you actually follow the Quran and the Sunnah, then you will find your salvation. On that day when no one's going to benefit you, your mom, your father, every single person, 
person that loved you in this dunya, no one is going to benefit you. إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ And the only one that's going to be benefited on that day is the one that comes to Allah Azza wa Jal with a sound, with a pure heart. And these are the only people that are going to be saved. My well, brothers and sisters, you're going to be going through the, the, the sirat, you're going to be going over the bridge on that day. When Allah Azza wa Jal is going to bring the hellfire, and uh, in the hellfire there are going to be 70,000 chains, and in every single chain you're going to have 70,000 of the angels carrying it. When the people are going to see the hellfire, and the hellfire is going to be brought, and every single prophet is going to be saying, Nafsi, they will be talking about themselves, except the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's the only one that's going to be saying, Ummati, Ummati, he's going to be saying, My Ummah, my Ummah. So my brothers and sisters, do we not then need to follow Allah and His Messenger? Do we not then need to save ourselves on that day, when the best of men, the people, Allah Azza wa Jal says, Ibrahim Alayhi Salam was what? He was a Khalil. Ibrahim Alayhi Salam was a close friend of Allah Azza wa Jal. He is going to be scared on that day. So what about me and you? So if you want to save yourself on that day, you have to follow again the Quran and the Sunnah. It always goes back to this. Our religion, Allah Azza wa Jal says, Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'amati wa raditu lakum al-Islam adina. Allah Azza wa Jal has completed this religion. Everything you need to know from the very beginning to the end, every single thing is complete. So all you need to do is go back to the Quran and the Sunnah. So if you're not prioritizing the Quran, as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al-Quran wa siyamu yashfa'ani l-abdi yawm al-qiyamah, the Quran and the fasting that you're doing right now is going to be a hujj, is going to be a proof, is going to be there to save you on the day of judgment. And uh, last quick little reminder for the last 10 days, which is coming very, very soon. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he shed the mi'zarahu wa ahya laylahu wa ayqada ahlahu. When the last 10 nights of Ramadan came, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to tighten his belt and used to be very serious and he used to wake his family up as well. Allah tells us, Ya ayyuhalladina amin wa yabileen, hu anfusakum wa ahlikum naro. Save yourselves and your uh, family from the hellfire. So this Ramadan, don't just try to be productive yourself, but look at your Muslim brothers and sisters. If you see any evil being done, anyone who sees an evil, let him go stop it with his hand. If he's not able to stop it with his hand, then let him go and speak against it. Whoever is not able to um, stop it with his tongue, then let him at least hate the sin in his heart. So yeah, that's probably our next TV and workshop. Guys, guys, don't waste your Subscribe. Ramadan time. <laughs> Look, at least he wasn't wasted, he's on the camera, man. <laughs> Listen, today I'm joined here with my boy, Yahya John, right here. So, quick little reminder, inshallah, we want to give. Because he's, um, no, this is banging light, bro. So, it's because uh, he's a river brother. And also, Adrian, you guys know my boy. And a lot of my close friends that you see in the vlogs, they're river brothers. So, what is one advice you would give? to a river brother that's, uh, you know, especially in Ramadan and they're coming very new to the deen, what's the best advice you could give them? So like the one thing I've seen from brothers that fall off, they don't pray as much, they don't go to the masjid, it's all to do with your friends. Mm -hmm. Everything's to do with your friends. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a man is upon the religion of his close friend. Of your close friend as well. Mm -hmm. right? Develop strong relationship with people who go to the masjid. If someone's in the masjid, they're gonna be a better Muslim than someone who's not in the masjid. Mm -hmm. It's common sense, right? Yep. And who's gonna push you to pray more? The people Muslim. at the masjid. Who's gonna Who's gonna push you to read more Quran? Mm -hmm. Who's gonna push you to seek knowledge? Who's gonna push you to just in every aspect of your life be a better Muslim? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the ones who go to the masjid and seek knowledge, mm -hmm. the good companions that you need. Yeah. So be upon origin of your close friends and make your close friends the righteous Muslims. Yeah, and just go on motives, innit? Like yeah. ask bro. Just go on motives, yeah. and that's how you yeah. build a brotherhood. Man, them are all the way at the back, but yeah. all of them. I met through going to the masjid, seek knowledge together. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. that. and that's pushed me to then go and do it as well. All right, I, the camera is about to fall. My, <laughs> my hands are too small to grab this, but hopefully you guys uh, uh, will benefit with that, inshallah. All right, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Allah says in the Quran, Allah is the forgiver of all of your sins, and He is the acceptor of your repentance. But he's what? Shadid al-Aqab. He's also what? Very severe. Allah is very severe in his punishment. 
As in, you can't take him as a joke. You can't just say, okay, Allah is going to forgive me. But every single day, you're doing the same sins every single day. And you know Allah is watching you, but mm, you don't care. But when the people are watching you, that's when you care. That's when you're like, okay, you know what? This person is watching me. But when Allah is watching you, in secret, you're watching haram. You're listening to haram. You're doing haram. So remember, the wing of hope. Allah is telling you, Do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives every single sin. Every single sin that you come with on the face of this earth, as long as you die by asking Allah Azza for forgiveness before your death, Allah Azza is going to forgive you for every single sin. Every single sin. There isn't a single one. Every single sin Allah Azza is going to forgive you. But on the other hand, just like I said, have hope of Allah Azza wa Allah Azza wa Jalla says, this is Hadith Qudsi. Qala Allahu ala inda wanni abidi bi. I am just like my servant thinks of me. If you think good of Allah, Allah is going to give you that which you think of him. If you think Allah can do a lot for you, he's going to do that for you. But on the other hand, brothers, it's very important that you know that Allah Azza wa Jalla is very strict. And every single one of us, we're going to be questioned on the Day of Judgment. There is, there is a doubt in tomorrow. There are two doubts in tomorrow, actually. The first doubt in tomorrow is, is tomorrow even going to come? Is tomorrow, tomorrow, what day is it? First day, whatever. Does tomorrow even exist? That's the first doubt. The second doubt is, even if tomorrow comes, are you going to be there? Each one of you, individually, are you going to be alive? Recently, we had a sister from KCL, 18 years old, died. Recently, a brother just died, 22 years old. You guys have probably seen her on TikTok or whatnot. Brothers and sisters are dying left, right, center. How do you know tomorrow is not your day? And if you knew that tomorrow was the last day, what would you have done? So it's very important that you think about these things. And as I said, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you would see he's the best man on the face of this earth. There is no one better than the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he used to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. And he used to also have hope in Allah Azza wa Jal. So we need to fear Allah Azza wa Jal on one side, and on the other side, we need to have good thoughts and hope of Allah Azza wa Jal. So you need to balance between the two. Balance between what? These two. And the final thing I want to say, it's, it's very, very important. Allah talks about many different groups of people. Some are good, some are bad. And you don't want to look at the bad people because you don't want to be like that. But you want to understand why they're bad so that you can avoid that which they're doing, right? Allah says, Wa nasim, And from the people there is, ala There are those who worship Allah on an edge. فَإِنْ أَصَابَهُ خَيْرٌ إِتْمَا أَنَّبِي وَإِنْ أَصَابَهُ فِتْنَةٌ قَالَبَ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ خُسِرُ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْخُسْرَانُ الْمُبِينَ On one side, you have people, when good comes to them, what do they do? Oh, they're so happy, so happy. But when bad comes to them, they become ungrateful. They don't have any sober, they don't have any patience. خُسِرُ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَ Allah saying, these people who are only happy when Allah does good to them and they don't care about any, any trial that comes from them, they, they're like, oh, you know what? Allah is always making me go through these trials, all of these tribulations. And they don't have the patience. These people, be aware of them. Don't be from these people. Every single day, guys, every single day, there's going to be a day that's either for you or a day against you. A day that's going to be a good day for you. You're doing good deeds, you're achieving a lot. Or it's going to be a day that's bad for you. On the day that's good for you, what do you need to do? You need to show shukr to Allah Azza wa Jalla. You need to be very grateful for that day. And on the day where you've been afflicted with trials, you're going through anxiety, depression, difficulty, sadness, what do you need to do? Sober. You need to do patience. And if you can balance between these two, not too much on the right, not too much on the left, but you are exactly the same way that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam done, Following Allah and His Messenger, following the Quran and the Sunnah, according to the understanding of the Salaf al Salih, bi-idnillahi al kareem you will enter Jannah. Anything which I've said that is wrong or incorrect is for me and the Shaitan, and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. Subhanallah, wa bihamdi, ashallahu la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atu We need to cook. Let's cook. Let's cook. Actually, let's cook. Guys, 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 Why? So, so do you have like a minute? I just need to ask you something quick. Like get the attention quick. Pick and choose. Put this down there. And then last something like that. He said no. Yo! Hey, you say that? Chain. Chain. No, no, I said. Bro, I'm saying chain. I'm just going to say I hate it when people speed, bro. Nah, I chill, bro. Did you ever see that?
Stop, bro. Listen, guys, don't do these things. I'm telling you guys how to be a good driver. Okay? This is the guy with no <laughs> license. <laughs> bro, chill, 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 chill. chill. I, I could have easily got a license if I wanted. That's like... I, I... Chill, chill, bro, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, bro. You guys will get... Stop. <laughs> we can't even see anything. Whoa, why is it so... Why is it so blurry? I can't I'm lie, guys. This I'm is the friend. final, I think, vlog of Ramadan 2024, so... Um, that's it. Assalamu alaikum. You, you put it on there. <laughs> Why?